Welcome back, everyone. My name is Tech Weasel, and I am a 12-year-old kid who codes Roblox games. I am going to guide you through a process that will teach you how to script and code your own Roblox games video by video. This is a part three in this The Basics part of the channel that I am doing, covering the very most simple things that you'll need to know to make your own games. In the last two videos, we placed basic size blocks. We even added things from the toolbox. Remember, always give credit to anything from the toolbox you use. It can be copyright if you do not. We also, in the very last video, made our own power-ups, which give things like speed boost, health up, and even kill the player. In this next video, I'll show you how to make tools. Tools are the simple system of handheld things in your inventory that the player can use for a variety of tasks. Let's get straight to it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is to make our tool. To make a tool like this sword, which you can see has this tool icon, we haven't used the Explorer too much, but this is where everything is stored. All of these parts, as you can see by the blue outline, I'm currently, this is this big block. And this is that cylinder. So we're going to click up here on Workspace. Workspace is basically all physical objects in the game. Basically. There are some exceptions. We're going to click Insert Object and click Tool. If you don't have a frequently used yet, you're going to have to search tool. Click on it and you should have a tool without an arrow so there's nothing inside it you can open. It'll be called tool. Click on it and go into properties and rename it whatever you want. Let's name it basic tool. You can name it whatever you like, but this tool is not really going to do anything. To keep this minimum scripting, this video, while there will be some warning, I'm more going to make this tool just do whatever you want it to do and use the code from the previous video so you can basically make a handheld version of these power-ups. Go into your tool and insert a part or simply add a part from the world around. I'm going to make a sphere. I'm going to shrink it down to a good handheld size, keep it neon, but I'm going to make this one blue, since none of these are blue. Then, move your part in the Explorer. You cannot move it in the actual workspace on screen here. Move it by clicking and dragging directly onto Basic Tool, and boom! It will go inside it, as seen with these scripts. Click on it, insert object, and add another script. Okay, if you've made it this far, here's the code. Also, remember to delete print hello world. Note is that your script can be in the handle in many cases, but for this one, we're going to move it to basic tool. Notice how I've renamed my block Handle. Make sure you do that in the properties under Name. Calling it Handle with a capital H will make it so that is the part your character holds. It's also the only part the player can pick up. Otherwise, it would just be lying on the ground. Once you've done that, I'll show you the code. Thing in Roblox Luau is that you can't just say do something to make something happen. You have to create a function and then say when something happens, connect that function. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a function. Then we're going to write on activated. That's the name of our function. Make sure to add these two little brackets at the end or else it's not going to work. Then click enter and add an end or you can type it yourself. We're going to click enter again so we can create this fourth area. And we're going to go down here, and we're going to write 
script, even if your script is not named script, script without a capital S will refer to the script we are talking to. Dot parent, that's our tool. Activated. Oops. Dot activated. I'm so sorry for the mistake. Connect. And then in between these two brackets, write the name of your function. Then, as an example, in the function, we're going to write script dot parent. Make sure not to write a period there. Destroy. Now let's go test that. Refer to the name of your game, which hopefully by now you'll have changed from first game to something better. Unless, of course, you fit the age limit. As I've said, I am a 12-year-old kid who codes. So personally, I cannot write first game. Then you'll probably have this little thing in front of you, but I don't know where you've moved the editor. So now test your game. I'm just going to put my avatar here and click this arrow, play here, which is just like a normal play test. Allow me to start out directly where my editor figure was, which is actually a glowing dot. If you edit multiplayer, you can see you're actually just a glowing dot. Next, walk over your tool and pick it up. You're then going to want to click and it should vanish. If that has happened, you have the correct code. Now let's edit it so it does something cooler than just deletes itself. In your script, we're gonna go here. We're gonna do something really complicated. You do not have to do this part. At this point, you have made a tool. This is kind of a bonus, but it actually is required to make good tools in the future. The parent of the parent. Now, it may look like that parent is workspace, but once this is picked up and clicked, it will actually be in an inventory that the player has, which actually counts as a part in the Explorer. That will actually be a part in the Explorer. So I've script up parent. That's our basic tool. Dot. Parent. This is basically our player. While there is an inventory, this is obvious. This is the thing being held, so it's going to be directly inside the player. So then, humanoid. You may remember humanoids from the last video. Dot walk speed equals. You can make this any number. Less than 16 will actually slow the player down. I'm going to set it to 50 so we can really speed up our player. We could make this toggle on and off, but this is a sample video, remember. In a later video, maybe I'll show you how to make it so the tool changes the player's speed, kind of like the flash. You can choose how fast you want to go. Let's click play here so that we play directly at the location by clicking the arrow and clicking play here instead of just play. So we won't spawn it directly to spawn. Grab our tool, normal walk speed, even while holding it. We click, and this happens. There is one minor glitch you might encounter, and that's if you have these power-ups. You run into the yellow one, and it actually seems to slow you down. That's because instead of making it so this adds 20 to your speed, we made this simply set your speed to 20. You can change that code if you want. You should have the skills to do it. Based on this health thing, you should remember to write humanoid.walkspeed plus humanoid.walkspeed plus one equals humanoid.walkspeed plus one. Okay, that was confusing. Humanoid.walkspeed equals humanoid.walkspeed plus one. That better? First time I kind of stuttered and said it wrong. Okay, so you should have this tool. There is no way to turn it off except that. But, say there were more tools, you could maybe get it back. Also, you may remember that tools can be dropped in Roblox by clicking backspace. 
course, some of them, like this bazooka, cannot be dropped. The way to do that is to simply go into the properties of the tool, not the script or the handle, and turn on can be dropped to make it so it can be dropped, or turn it off so it can't. You can turn off requires handle, but I don't suggest that. That basically makes your tool a guaranteed must-be-in-the-starter-pack kind of tool. Things going good? You can even make tools that give the player health. But I don't think we're going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to do one last thing. We're going to grab our tool, and we're going to move it to the starter pack. Beside this rocket launcher, which you might not have. Now when the player starts the game, they have the tool in their inventory all ready to go. We can pick up the sword, but most of all, we can turn into some kind of human race car and zoom around. Also, I never really showed around the physics of these objects, but you can move them. Oops, don't go over the edge. You see why super speed is handy? Nope, no, 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 no. That giant weird sphere. Okay. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Stay tuned. I'm posting a video a day. Um, tomorrow I should make another. Oh, you can see the cylinder. Just went over the edge. That's because Isaac's second law. An object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by a force. And since Roblox doesn't have friction unless you code it yourself, they're just going to keep rolling. Inspiring words. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Comment d below on the videos, and maybe I'll respond to you even. And don't forget, stay tuned for daily videos. I don't know exactly what the next video is going to be on because, well, I'm deciding between a couple ideas. But I think I have chosen one. And if so, you guys are in for a very special video. Remember, every video is different. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Maybe it'll be exactly what you're looking for. I hope this taught you how to add tools to your game. And in a later video, I'll show you how to add tool shops and even better quality tools that can toggle on and off, or as seen in my pop in my not-so-popular game that only me and my friends rarely play, Bioclash, by me. Um, well, on and off toggling tools. In fact, let me show you a brief bit of the tools I have made for that game. Right now. Um, oh, just one quick thing I want to say. Please, no one go and try to find this game. So they can play it because honestly it's just a little side project of my own and i haven't even said all the shout outs to free models i was inspired by used or took inspiration from the code of but i'll just show you here's one of my favorite superpowers in this game which is currently in the testing phase that's why there's only one building i can lower the amount of gravity raise it or keep it normal there are even some pretty crazy things you can do when you can make it so there's zero gravity. And by pretty crazy, I mean pretty crazy. This uses almost nothing but the code I've shown you. It only uses variables and a couple more properties other than just the tool itself, including properties of the actual workspace. Remember the workspace has a symbol of an Earth? Simply go into there and change gravity if you want to do a script much like this. I'll show you a couple other powers that I've designed just quickly before I sign off the video. Anyone need a lift? Because I know I do. Oh, camera's getting a little crazy. Woohoo! Metal skin! Health boost and cool sound effect. I've turned that off though because these are loud sound effects and like I said, I haven't given away all shoutouts for things I made of I might have used by other people, but do not worry, this game is not gonna go public, and if I did, I would make sure those people were given credit. Also, I'm working on adding credit right now, it's just not finished. No one try to find this game, please. 
it's a personal thing for me and my friends, but if you do play, hey, I don't mind, just don't make it super popular.